And welcome to your standing workout. We're gonna target the legs today and some forearm exercises that will tone the triceps at the end. But let's go ahead and get started. The first exercise we are going to do, <laughs> I have to think about it for a second. Oh, it's our twisted knees. I've gotta look at my notes. So twisted knee exercise, that's what I like to call it. First, the left leg is gonna be in the front and then we switch and do the other leg. So let's do 20 on each leg. And you're gonna go up on your tippy toes and target the quads. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Cross the other leg over. Let's do 20 more. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Come up, roll it up for a little break. You can stretch your arms out. We're gonna go back down and do a standing exercise with the knee to the chest. You can be either arms to a chair or hands all the way to the floor, whatever is comfortable for you. If you're doing arms to the chair, you're just gonna use this chair as your prop. Otherwise, you come all the way to the floor or the mat and do the same thing. So let's bring a knee to the chest. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Set down, we'll do the other leg. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, catch your breath. You can dangle here if you want, like a rag doll. And then we're gonna do a leg lift exercise. So again, you can either use your chair for your prop or just standing here with your hands to the floor and lower and lift the leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Carefully set it down and we'll do the other leg. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Set it down. Let's bring our knees to the floor. We're gonna transition for a quick second and do these forearm taps to the floor. So you're on your hands and knees, keeping your arms and elbows in very close. You don't want them to go out wide like this. And you're gonna bring your forearms to the floor and back up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You could do several of those. It's a very effective and, and uh, uh, gentle tricep exercise. So now we're gonna go into a pike up stretch. So hands to the floor or to a chair. And the pike is something that you do either on a chair or reformer at the, um, at the Pilates studio. So if you're using the chair, your hands would be situated on top of the chair and you're, you have a spring-loaded bar that lifts you up. So as you're coming up, your head goes in. So one, two, three, four, five, tailbone to the ceiling, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then put one leg behind the other, so let's target a single leg. Same posture and everything. Just going up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can do a several more if you really want to target the glutes and the calf muscles. We're just doing a fun little demo. And let's do the other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you can go out wide into your elephant stretch. You can even put your head to the chair if you want and push deep into the heels and the quads. No weight really is put in your arms and hands. It's all going into the legs. So you could just float independently here, just standing. And if you need the chair for support, you can target your upper back, your cervical and thoracic spine area. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Carefully come up. All right. Then we're going to do a pigeon stretch. Again, you can use the chair, or if you're just standing, you want to try a balancing move yoga style. You could do it that way. Or if you want to go into deeper into the stretch, you can just park your upper body on this little stool or a chair and even take that leg as close to the floor as possible. Just hold. You can even incorporate some arm movements if you want. Put both hands behind your back. Look up. And then carefully release. Come up and we'll do the opposite leg. So now you can either do the standing version where you're balancing. Oh, not balancing on that leg. So great. Or put it on top of the chair. And this is how it looks from side view. You're either propped up or you can have a knee to the floor. Pushing your toes in. Sit up. And hands behind the back. Come up. Now we're going to go into a Eve's an Eve's lunge stretch. So it's a deep lunge, stretching deep into this muscle, and hands can be on the hips. And you're going to lean forward with your chest for one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then pull again, pull back into the chest, chest expansion. Carefully 
you can use the floor or a, a seat. I have a sofa in front of me and readjust yourself so that you don't fall over. Now we'll go into the other leg. Hairs, loose hairs. So now we're in an Eve's, an Eve's lunge on the opposite leg. And then we're gonna do the chest stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Push back into that chest expansion. And then carefully come up. Definitely use a balance if you need if you need help coming up out of that. Now we're gonna go into our side step squats. From this position, you're just gonna step to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Coming back up into your wide leg squats and uh, pulsing exercise here. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Lift up the heels for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Dip your elbow into your knee. Stretch out. And hold for at least 10 seconds. And then you can dip your other elbow into that knee. You can also do it this way where you point your shoulder and do a few of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Carefully walk your feet in and roll yourself back up. That's all we've got time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.